Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Women Worldwide. Thank you so much for being here and for showing up. I am flying solo today, and the topic is listening. Are the people around you, whether it's at work or at home, your friends, are they listening to you? I had a colleague recently share a situation where she was frustrated because she felt like no one was paying attention. I gave her four ways that she can up her game in the listening department and to have people around her tune in. The first is when you go and you're in a meeting or you're having a one-on-one, be fully present. If you're present and you bring your energy, that helps people to connect with you. Why would someone connect with you if your mind was somewhere else, if you didn't bring good energy and have passion? And care about what it is that you're sharing. Because if you don't care, why would anybody else care? Number two, you want to make sure that you're not just stating facts and figures, but that you're actually interpreting for people. When you share information, anyone can read off of a spreadsheet. Anybody can take numbers from a PowerPoint presentation or read the words of a report. When you're in a meeting and you're sharing, it's your interpretation. The value you bring is in the analysis. So bring that and make sure that you frame it with whatever is helpful so that people can see what you're saying and you paint a clear picture. And then it's knowing what is the essential information. If I'm in front of my CEO, CTO, CFO, I just want to make sure to bring the essential information so that they tune in and they get what they need and the meeting ends. Of course, you have to make sure that you also have some further details if they should ask. And that's the difference between essential information and that insightful, relevant knowledge that you also have, which you might bring into different meetings with your peers or your subordinates. And to know when you shouldn't go jumping down the rabbit hole, going deeper and deeper in the weeds, because that's the information that they don't want and they don't need. So sharing that level of information gets people to tune in if you're sharing on the right level. And lastly, ask yourself, are you a listener? Am I listening to other people? So when I go into a weekly meeting and it's my time to share, well, will people listen to me? Because if you're not listening, if you're rolling your eyes or if you're typing and you're on Zoom while somebody else is speaking and they can hear you click, click, clicking away, that sends a signal. If you're not a listener, then why should they listen to you? And sometimes you don't have to share first. Let somebody else share first and be that really good listener who takes notes and asks relevant questions and wants to learn more. Well, there you have it. Those four ways can up your game in the listening department. And if you can do this, you'll see very quickly the people around you will start tuning in. Okay, friends. Thank you. If you have any questions about listening or how to be a better listener or even an active listener, please feel free to reach out to me. You know, you can find me on LinkedIn. Always connect with me. I'm on Twitter. I'm at Dee Breckenridge. And until our next episode, stay focused, energized, and feeling empowered. Thank you.